What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I want to talk to you about something that I always see in YouTuber comment sections. Whenever somebody posts a video and they talk about something that goes on in the community or on Twitter or wherever, there's always someone in the comment section below saying, uh, oh my god, this is fucking YouTube these days, everybody just likes to talk about the fucking news and they just want to throw in their two cents, like this is shit content. This content is garbage. Trip and die in a fucking hole. And fuck YouTube in 2016. And you know what? Sometimes those comments are justified. You know, sometimes uh, somebody will post a video covering news or covering a topic that was covered recently on Drama Alert or on Scarce's channel or wherever, and all they're doing is rehashing that specific topic uh, in, in, and just saying it again, over again on their video. And in that case, yeah, I think that is definitely, uh, shitty content. I mean, you're not adding anything to the story, you're not bringing anything to the table. All you're doing is posting another video about the exact same thing, hoping that you'll get people to click and view and watch it just because it's got a trending topic in the title or in the thumbnail. But a lot of the times, uh, there'll be people covering a specific topic that happens in the community or on YouTube or Twitter or whatever, and people want to throw in their opinion people want to comment on the issue people want to talk about something from their perspective or shed some light on a certain area of the topic or maybe people have experience with whatever is going on in the community uh, and they can bring their experience to the table and say hey when I went through this thing uh, this is how I did it or this is what happened to me and I think in that case you know these comments are just bullshit I mean you know yes okay maybe they are just jumping on the bandwagon of whatever's popular but if they're contributing to the conversation and moving the conversation forward and adding their two cents I think that's totally fine and the reason for that uh, isn't because I'm okay with people jumping on bandwagons but because everybody has their own fan base and some fans you know if you're a fan of let's say boogie 2988 and for instance we'll just say let's say leafy gets hacked or let's say leafy gets exposed for botting subs or something who's gonna be the first person to cover that probably not boogie okay the first person to cover that story is either going to be scarce or drama alert and let's be honest it's probably gonna be scarce um, but in my opinion drama alert's gonna have a better video anyway 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 motherfuckers are in the comments section like oh my god you fucking support keemstar you're a piece of shit I'm unsubbing bye faggot fuck you I don't care anyway let's keep talking about this so yes if boogie does make a video about that topic will he be the first no but boogie has a ton of fans that might not really know leafy or they might not know drama alert or scarce or whatever and they also want to hear boogie's specific opinion on that topic you know when you have a fan base on a website like YouTube your fans will want to know what you think about something that's going on currently in the community or on Twitter or in the news or whatever and I think making a video about that expressing your opinions and expressing your views on whatever that topic might be uh, I don't think that's a bad thing I don't think that's garbage content I don't think that that is the like the plague of YouTube or the cancer of YouTube or whatever people call it these days is it creative content no it's not creative at all but uh, it's important to have that content because that content is what bridges the gap uh, between the content creator and the fans and it gives the fans a better understanding uh, and has a better connection to the content creator because they get to learn a little bit more about them they get to hear more of their opinions and maybe they'll get to hear a new story or an experience or something like that you know maybe they'll talk about the time that they got hacked or maybe they'll talk about the time where people thought they were subbotting and I just wanted to make this video because you know sometimes it's hard to think of a topic idea and especially you know for me I've been really really busy lately I've been working all like um, I've worked like four or five days out of the week for the past few weeks plus uh, I go to school at the same time so I'll Sometimes I'll literally go from class, take the bus right to work, uh, and I'll work until close. And, you know, then I have to come home and eat dinner and do homework and wake up really early just to go to class and do the whole thing all over again. But at the same time, I don't want to miss uploads. I want to upload at least twice a week if I can. Uh, and sometimes you just can't have those high production quality like you know where it takes four hours to edit a video type of things and in those instances you know if there's something going on in the community I would like to be able to make a video about that and give my opinions and bring my stories and experiences to that particular topic uh, and know that my audience is okay with that again is that creative maybe not okay maybe not maybe I can add some sort of something that's funny that's entertaining or you know whatever to the video or edit it in a certain way but overall I think it's just an interesting video for people to watch who are actually fans of that content creator and that's really what it's all about you know that's what it is all about 
uh, with those videos you know it's not for uh, you know the newcomer the new subscriber to come and see that video what it really is is for the core fan base who's just curious as to what their favorite youtuber has to say about a particular po a topic and I don't think there's anything wrong with that like I said as long as they're bringing something to the table as far as opinion or whatever you know if all they're doing is reporting on the news that's already been reported you're not adding anything to the table you're not bringing anything to the table like I said or, or anything you know you're just rehashing what somebody else already did so for a content creator like me where people do actually tell me like I actually do get DMS from people and shout out to you guys if you do this uh, I get DMS from people saying hey you should make a topic you should make a video on this topic or hey did you hear about this you should make a video about that people actually want to know what I think about certain things and that's actually crazy to me but at the same time that's awesome because sometimes like I said I don't actually have the time to make really long extensive uh, videos that take hours of editing uh, with my tight schedule so you know this allows me to actually make a video for you guys and entertain you for the week uh, and bring you a new video and even though it's not the best video on my channel it's at least something that some of you guys want to hear about and it's something that you guys want to know maybe you want to know what I think about a certain topic and I want to know personally that I can make these videos without people uh, coming to my channel and going in the content co or comment section and saying oh my god this fucking Omniar kid he's literally the fucking cancer of this entire YouTube platform maybe even the entire fucking planet this kid is such a piece of shit he's the reason that YouTube is going downhill I'm going to lit if I were him I would literally fucking kill myself like he should literally fucking drink bleach and die no but in, in all seriousness you guys I just wanted to make this video just letting you guys know that it's okay for other content creators to talk about something that scarce or drama alert already covered uh, as long as they're just telling you what they think about a particular topic and if you don't care what they have to say about whatever that topic might be then you don't have to click on it and you don't have to watch it and you especially don't have to drop a comment saying fuck you you piece of shit I can't believe you blah 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 whatever anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you found it informative or entertaining or whatever it might be uh, hopefully you maybe agree with me or disagree either way drop a comment down below letting me know unless it's one of those stupid comments that I made fun of and mocked in this video which you know if if it is a comment you probably already left that comment if you're one of those people, you've already pressed the enter key and submitted that comment, which is fine, because I'll make fun of you in the comment section below. <laughs> if you've made it this far, I would love if you guys could just leave a like on the video. That'd be really awesome. If we get this video to like one like, that would be sick. And while you're here, why not subscribe? Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you haven't already and you want to see more awesome content just like this. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. This has been OmniArc, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.